Hello, this is Dean Takahashi Adventure Beat. I'm here at Microsoft at the Inclusive Tech Lab. And I'm walking in here, and we're going to get a little tour of uh, what they have here. This is, uh, uh, we have Bryce and we have Evelyn here. And, hi. Uh, hi. Welcome to the Inclusive Tech Lab. Yeah, so uh, tell me what the lab is all about at first. Um, this place is uh, uh, mm -hmm. here to mm -hmm. basically demonstrate our goal at Xbox to making Xbox a place where everyone can have fun. Mm -hmm. um, we bring people in here to, to give them an idea of what it's like to be a gamer with disabilities to help them build empathy mm -hmm. around that and hopefully inspire them to be more intentional about the products that we create including more people with disabilities mm -hmm. yeah it's a nice wide open space it's it's pretty new here huh? Yeah. Uh, yeah, but you guys have been working on this kind of technology for quite a long time. Um, you have some demos here. Uh, do you want to show me the first one you got here? This sure. uh, Rocket League uh, demo, I guess. Yeah. So we use mm -hmm. this demo as an approachable demo so mm -hmm. that people can understand what it's like for mm -hmm. someone to game with like things other than their hands, right? So mm -hmm. we, we set this up intentionally to be very, fairly simple. Mm -hmm. We have um, some switch interfaces on this device. We can adjust the height to Mm -hmm. sort of suit needs and move things in to be better for people but we have set this up so that if mm -hmm. I just hit this rock band pedal it's gas and if mm -hmm. I use my knees I can steer mm -hmm. so this is a case where you're playing a uh, Rocket League without a game controller yeah so, I'm yeah. using yeah. just my my one leg mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. well, that was a pretty easy one. Oh, no, and you're you're forward. steering with your knee basically just yep. to, okay and we mm -hmm. can hook up other switches to this interface so that mm -hmm. if I wanted to have other commands to other parts of my body, like mm -hmm. I could hook up a head switch, like a button on my chair, I could hit it with my head. Mm -hmm. um, we could look at other different ways of using maybe my other foot mm -hmm. or augmenting with like other things, like even um, using switches that are triggered by sound. Uh -huh. Okay, cool. And then we have something here for, uh, I guess, uh, people who don't have use of their limbs, I guess, right? This is a, mm -hmm. a, a much more advanced piece of assistive technology. This is a device called the quad stick, mm -hmm. and it's used, it's designed for quadriplegics. Mm -hmm. It is a sip and puff joystick. It has three input tubes that you blow and suck on mm -hmm. to have different commands, and it's also a joystick. Mm -hmm. And here I'm going to actually just use it as a mouse. Uh -huh. Okay. Just adjust this. So. I would go here and use it as a mouse. My mash on is uh -huh. not that great. <laughs> yeah, I see. It's a very sensitive device. Mm -hmm. Oh. Looks like it's hard to, hard to master, but... Uh, it, is, it is very tricky. I do yeah. need to practice more with it. I also have it set. But you can you can blow into it and you can steer mm -hmm. it I guess as well right so yeah that we do actually have a video mm -hmm. um, from the quad stick folks that actually show people using it really well mm -hmm. um, and let's switch over here to uh, this time Evelyn uh, yeah, what so, is this one here so Bryce just told you a little bit about some of the mm -hmm. third-party providers some of these technologies that are built by outside mm -hmm. of Microsoft to help people mm -hmm. engage with mm -hmm. games and, and software mm -hmm. um, this is an example of how we're investing in this space from first party perspective how xbox and microsoft the broader microsoft mm -hmm. is paying attention to how people alternatively interact with their system without using the traditional method of mm -hmm. say a mouse and a keyboard mm -hmm. so in this particular case bryce is going to give you a super quick demo on mm -hmm. how to actually interact with the game just using his voice mm -hmm. so yeah normally this is a, a microphone demo but we're going to see how this goes. Mm -hmm. Mouse grid. Four, two, double click. And that's, that's sort of cool. how we <laughs> use mouse commands with voice. Uh -huh, yeah. Another yeah. example of interacting with the UI mm -hmm. is this. What you see right here is a third party solution mm -hmm. um, called Toby Eye Gaze, mm -hmm. and it allows someone to navigate the UI mm -hmm. with the system just recognizing eye movement. Mm -hmm. Eye tracking, yeah. Mm -hmm. Cool. Uh, well, here is how we brought some of these technologies that exist today on Windows and other platforms to the console. So, uh, not too long ago, mm -hmm. there were n there was no accessibility experience available on gaming platforms. Mm -hmm. So there was a whole market of individuals that were just sort of locked out of being able to play games. Mm -hmm. So what we've done is brought some of those assistive technologies to the platform itself. So mm -hmm. as an example, imagine if I was trying to move around. Mm -hmm. I would have no idea where I actually am in the system, but mm -hmm. through the benefit 
of actually having guide a screen for reader. 11. Broadcast. Set guide for cinema. The recent captures. Mm -hmm. Button. Resume. Launch. Amazon video. Press the menu button for more options. But recently used. I can actually My navigate around apps. the UI and mm -hmm. actually hear One where I am and mm -hmm. be able to bring up Amazon video and start listening to a video if I yeah. wanted to. Um, there's other technologies that we've added as well, things like high contrast mode, which makes it much clearer to see. So it's reading to you uh, what's on the screen, mm -hmm. basically. It yeah. is. Yeah. Um, I can actually increase the size of the screen and move around the UI, so it's much easier for me to know where I am in the system. One of two. Dialogue recently used. Save 50% on GTA V. One of two. So an extension of that is, mm -hmm. you know, we're, we're building these assistive technologies for the Xbox itself, but these are largely consumer experiences. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, we, we build the assistive technologies, mm -hmm. we build the system for the assistive technologies to run on, but what people really want mm -hmm. is to be able to play games. And if they can get up to the game and the game isn't accessible, then there's really not a whole lot of value for them. Mm -hmm. So we're working with uh, development partners to make sure that we're providing the tools they need to actually be successful, to actually build accessible content. Sort of lower that barrier that prevents them from making their games more accessible. Mm -hmm. So an example of that is mm -hmm. over on this side, uh, Halo Wars 2. So mm -hmm. Halo Wars 2 is a multiplayer title. Mm -hmm. uh, people can interact with the game through voice. You can mm -hmm. be in a party with your friends and talk about strategy and play your game. But the problem is, mm -hmm. if you don't have hearing, mm -hmm. there's no way for you to actually know what's going on. Mm -hmm. So what we've done is make it possible for game developers to actually add the ability to provide text transcripts of mm -hmm. what's being spoken in the game. Uh -huh. So it's easier for someone to actually participate in the game even if they can't hear. Mm -hmm. So here's an example of that. Mm -hmm. Hey, do you want to play the game? Mm -hmm. It's your turn to drive. You take over the Warthog. So as you speak it, the text is showing up on the screen and somebody uh, who can't as hear I that. Speak, yeah. I'm a member of the party and I, if someone is on the other Xbox and they can't hear, then all of that information is going to be transferred over to them via text. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cool. That's very interesting. And then uh, over here you, you have a co-pilot technology. Yeah, I guess, uh, so mm -hmm. that's another example of one of those things that mm -hmm. uh, when we think about how we actually build our experiences, we want to be inclusive in our designs. Mm -hmm. And though co-pilot uh, was built for one very specific purpose, it has some great extensibility. Mm -hmm. So for co-pilot, co-pilot is actually the ability to take two mm -hmm. physical controllers mm -hmm. and have them virtualized as if they were actually one. So they are interacting against the same character in a game. Mm -hmm. So I can pick, take a portion of the control of the controller and he can take a portion of the other control and mm -hmm. we can play together collaboratively. Mm -hmm. So imagine if I'm a person that has some limited mobility or dexterity, mm -hmm. I would have the ability to say mount one controller underneath the chin here and mm -hmm. be able to use the other controller with my one hand. Uh -huh. But it could also be cooperative play. Mm -hmm. If I'm terrible at playing a game, uh -huh. he could actually steer the Forza car while all I do is just press the go button. Mm -hmm. So it lights up a whole other set of experiences for kids mm -hmm. and parents, uh, teenagers and grandparents getting grandpa out there to play Call of Duty. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's also co-op play. I could be just sitting on a couch with Bryce and we could just be playing the same game together. Mm -hmm. um, we'll show you an example of that. <laughs> It's a familiar game. So all I'm doing is I'm just firing. Mm -hmm. And he's actually doing all the hard work. Uh -huh. He's staying out of the way of the, the loss. <laughs> uh -huh. Cool. Very good. So that's the uh, Inclusive Tech Lab here. And uh, yeah, very interesting uh, technology here. Thank you very much.